and welcome back to the channel another video on serious about salvage so we have another um new car to the channel again this is one that isn't actually my car i have bought it for a friend basically and it's another volkswagen passat estate it's practically the same car as the black one we did but i think this one is a high line so it's perhaps a better spec um, and it's got a little bit more miles. I think it's got 73 on this one, which again isn't bad for what is a what it's a, it's a, it's an 11 year old car. Uh, it's not bad, is it? So the idea with this car is he actually wants it for his work vehicle. This is um, a guy who used to work for me when I was doing the lifts. Um, if you didn't know, I was a lift engineer before I started messing with cars. And this guy worked for me. Now he's still at current, kind of renting one of my vans. It's a 14 plate, and I'm sure you'll know with all these new um, green, uh, low emission zones basically coming into all the cities, a 14 plate van isn't Euro 6. So he's starting to get charged. Um, quite a bit like to go in all the cities for work and stuff so he thought gets a private car um, it's not the same rules it's only commercial vehicles at the moment it's not private vehicles so with this car he won't get charged to go into the low emission zones except for the London ones as far as I'm aware I don't know the whole story of it but that's what his idea is because Euro 6 vans are a fortune um, these cars are cheap, and if anything, it's going to be better on fuel as well. Um, the, the black one, which is the same engine as this, that my brother-in-law now has, he's getting over 60 miles per gallon out of that, which is absolutely incredible for a big car. Anyway, I'm going to spin you around, and we'll have a look around it. Uh, see the damage, and just get on, I think. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's... This is like... This is a... What, it's a, like a... A grey silver. It's a bit of a crack in the rear lens there which looks like it's been there for quite a while. So I don't think that's any, any um, anything to do with the crash, shall we say. Back end, perfectly fine. It's got parking sensors, it's got the this, this silver trim, which I believe is a high line trim. Um, I have checked the tyres and they're all practically brand new all the way around. It's a little bit of a mark there, probably polish out. All right, down this end. This side, sorry, front end again is fine. The damage is just on this this corner here, driver's door and driver's wing. Now it's not bad, and obviously this is kind of the sh shut that a bit. This would have been the picture at auction, yeah, like that. Bit of a scuff on the bumper that we couldn't see, but we're not overly concerned about. I'll buff it up, see how good it'll look. Um, but this car was, was um, it is a Cat S, I think. I can't remember now. I think it is a Cat S. Now, on, on the face of it, door and wing are very easy fix. Now, I suspected this straight away. If you look at the, this door and how bent it is at the bottom. I mean, let's shut this door. Down. It's better. Look how, how bent the door is. Now obviously you can see the sill cover and that seems to be fine, but plastic flexes back. I suspected that the sill was pushed in behind this door, which was why it was a Cat S in my eyes. And lo and behold, if we open this door, as you can see there, the sill is pushed in a little bit there. Now this, this light body line here, it's where the rubber seal of the door seals against. So obviously as it is, it's going to let a lot of um, noise in, especially going down the motorway. So we do need to deal with that. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I'm thinking best option is going to be to pull all these trims and see if there's any access in behind. See if we can bash it out from behind. In terms of appearance, it doesn't need to be perfect. Like I said, this is going to be a work vehicle. It's going to have the back full of tools. It's going to be dirty. You know, it's going to get used. So 
it doesn't need to be great. And at the end of the day, he wants it as cheaply as possible. Inside though, nice and clean. Uh, one, one key, we've got the back seats down because he was measuring it, but there's no issues. It's all nice, well, obviously it's not clean, and it's clean now, but there's no damage to the interior. Floor mats, well, like I said, one key. 73,078 miles. It's got reversing, parking sensors, rear parking sensors, cruise control, the usual stuff. And this one has got full service history, fully stamped up book, um, last serviced in November 21 at 68,000 it says. So that's nice. That's nice. That's good. Uh, 1.6 diesel again. Same as the other one. So like I said, it should be extremely good on fuel. There you go. No shoes under there. It's a run and drive. I mean, it's a good little buy. I, I said this before on the um, on the black one. It's surprising the price range of these on eBay. I'll start it up. So it starts up fine. No lights. But I'm not leaving it running because it'll smog out my unit. Yeah, it's surprising the price range of these vehicles and it's all relying on mileage because a lot of these have got a lot of miles on. <coughs> and what, what was this? This was more expensive than the black one, obviously, because it's got nowhere near as much damage and a lot of people wouldn't have contemplated that sill damage. So we did pay a decent amount for it. I think um, hammer price was 2,200. Um, but like I said, you've got to factor in the mileage on these cars. If you look on eBay, there's higher mileage ones for, I think, three, three and a half thousand. Um, but if you try and find anything with this kind of mileage, I think there is a Cat S, or no, a Cat N, a Cat N on there that's been repaired with similar kind of miles. And I think it's, is it four and a half thousand? It's up for, I think, something like that. Um, so I'm pretty sure this car should be finished for somewhere just over three. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to do imperfect and it's exactly what I wanted. So, um, he decided what he wanted to pay for it. He decided he picked the car. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> I think it's cracker. It's all right. It's a good one. So, we have a door. Um, and we have a wing in colour. I was concerned um, on the pictures, it didn't look this colour. It looked like, a, I don't know, I can't remember now, but I remember at the time thinking it's going to be hard to find parts in colour. But surprisingly, there was, I think there was two of each available. Um, so, yeah, no paint involved. So, yeah, we're just going to crack on, I think. We'll do it on the floor because we can't get a door open on the two posts. I'm going to pull this door off. We will pull the wing off and then simple as basically swapping them over. All the parts need to be swapped over. The mirror, all the door card. Um, not too sure if they've left the glass in it or not. Um, I'll have to have a look. Can't tell right now. Um, I don't know, I don't know. But if not, we're gonna swap the glass over, all the bits of trim. But they're quite easy, these doors. They're just on two pins. It's the pin there. And... Uh, pin inside there. And the door, I'm sure it lifts off. Maybe I'm slightly wrong on that bottom one. I don't know, we'll have to look into it. So yeah, let's just, let's get on with it and get these parts swapped over.
Okie dokie, so we've moved on a little bit. As you saw, the wing and the door came off, no issues whatsoever. There's, there's no other damage that I've found other than what we know about. All the inner wing is perfectly fine. Air pillar's fine. I've also got this sill out enough. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, like I said, it's not perfect. We're not looking for a perfect job here because like I said, this car is gonna be used as a work vehicle. All we need to do is make it look presentable and make sure there's no wind noise going down the motorway. Um, so basically what I did, um, I first of all pulled the trim off inside as you can see because I wanted to see if there was any excess in there. Unfortunately there wasn't. So what I did was I pulled the side skirt off, um, drilled a few holes with a very, very small drill bit. Uh, I don't know whether it is now, but like smaller than that. And then screwed a slide hammer in with a self tapper into the holes and well, yeah, did a slide hammer and pulled it out. So all, all the holes that I had to drill are underneath where the side skirt is. I couldn't go any fur further than what you can see because it was starting to misshape the piece that you can, that's the visible part. And I didn't want to do that because like I said, we don't want to go through the rigmarole of uh, filler and paint on this car. Like I said, it's not my car, I'm just doing the bare minimum to get get it get it to the point where it's usable as his work car. Not ideal, like I said, if I was doing this as a car to sell, at this point, the side skirt would still be off. I'd put a very thin skim of filler in there and it would be pretty, it'd be perfect. Just paint, paint the sill. Uh, no issues at all, you'd, you'd never know and it'd look perfect. But like I said, it's not, we're not looking for that kind of perfection for with this car. So I'm having to bond the, um, Sim, uh, sill trim back on because the clips were broken from the crash that's why I've got wheels and I've got a bit of wood holding it in there so yeah it, it's 90% better and, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be good enough to like I said just stop that noise just stop the wind noise that's all we're looking for and make it look look okay which I think it does so whilst that is setting I've been start I've made a start on these doors, just swapping the bits over. And it's been pretty easy in all fairness because the glass is still in here and they were nice enough to leave on the inner panel with draw the, the window motor and everything. So all the linkage is in there, the wiring's still on it. So all I've had to do is remove the door card from the old one Remove the wing mirror with the cable in, um, a tweeter, and that's it. So we only need to put these pieces back on, and then at the end I'm going to obviously pull the lock out of the old door and put it into the new door. Um, obviously it's central locking, but if for any reason the fob fails, you need to be able to get in, don't you? And I'm not too sure whether these have a key, a, a, an actual barrel on the passenger side, behind that cover so it needs to be done we'll swap that barrel over and then it's just going to be a case of putting the door and the wing back on test drive it make sure like i said there's no whistling no air coming in but the, you have got this nice big seal down there this is the damaged door as you can see um that's that's the replacement got this nice big seal which is going to quite easily take up the last Miller two that that really wanted, like I said, with a bit of filler. But it'll be it'll be pass it'll be passable. It'll be all right. Um, so yeah, I'll continue to build up this door. I think put you on camera, and um, it should be nice and finished. This car today, really happy actually.
Okay, so the door is all built up ready. Like I said, very easy, quick job that really. Simple door to work on. I'm just glad they left all this in. So when you start pulling them off, the mechanism's in there, you've got to get the, door, the window to a certain height so you can get to the clamps, so it's a, it's a faff, so. Yeah, glad they left that together for me. Right, um, we're still waiting for this sill to bond. I can't get the door in, so I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna put the wing on. I'm gonna have to, I'm not sitting around waiting. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this wing on, hopefully, if we get it up to the headlight, we should be thereabouts in terms of where it wants to be. And if we need to tweak it after we put the door on, we need to tweak it, simple as that. But I want to continue, can keep going. So yeah, I'll simply put you on a stand again and we'll throw the wing on. Can't foresee any issues now. I'm really happy with how that has come out. Although yeah, not perfect, but it's good enough. That's what he wants. So yeah, let's get this wing on. there we go that door went on it well it was hard to get the fixings in on my own don't get me wrong but it's gone on all right and 
I, I much prefer to buy second hand parts because of the colour. The colour is absolutely perfect. You'd never say, for instance, that wing has been changed. You'd say that was a factory wing on this car. The paint is, is perfect. So really, there's nothing much more we're going to do to this car. What I do want to do is run the buffer over the corner of this, this bumper. Let's try and maybe get a few of them marks out for him. And I'm going to just wipe down and run it along here. Because there's a few little scuff marks. Um, I'm reluctant to even wash it. He can get the mark, these stickers off. I've run out of a uh, panel wipe at the minute, so I can't get this sticker stuff off. So I'm going to leave that to him. Um, yeah, so... I mean, I don't even think he's going to bother with that lens at the moment. He just needs to get swapped over and start using it, really. So, yeah, like I said, I'll, um, I will just have a quick buzz over that, that bumper corner and the door end, door leading edge, and I'll go for a quick run up the road in it, and then we'll just finish this video off and call it, um, call it a day. Right, so I just got back from the test drive, and it drives fine. No knocks, no bangs, um, pulls well. So there really is nothing else for us to do to this car. So. We'll just run through the pricing quickly. Like I said, I think the winning bid was 22 um, 20 or something like that. All in here, um, I think it's 2700 And then the parts, the door and the wing were, for, the, for both of them, um, two... 270 so um, 2970 so just call it 3000 as it stands here now well, it says 73,000 miles full service history for what he wants to do with it I think it's ideal really and as I always say as long as he's happy it's his money um, it's his car I'm happy so yeah, I think for just a, a one day quick fix, I think it's been okay, been all right. So yes, that's going to be the end of this video, end of this car. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to find the last few bits that I need for the Fiesta. Uh, other than that, I want to get rid of the Mercedes ML and the big Jeep and kind of have a Fresh start. I've got some ideas. You know, I've got some ideas I want to try try and do. Things to change um, going forward. So, yeah, st stick around, stay tuned. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.